This is News 8 at 5. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto in for Barbara Lee Edwards. A La Mesa Spring Valley School Board member is facing criticism for statements she made during a board meeting Tuesday night. While discussing the need to vote on a school reopening plan, trustee Sharda Bell Fontenot made comments about white supremacy and slavery. News 8 Shannon Handy has video from the meeting and how parents are responding. Carlo, that meeting was public, so a lot of families heard those comments as they were being made. Some are so outraged, they're calling on Board Vice President Sharda Bell Fontenot to step down. I believe it was taken too far. I was in shock. Parents in the La Mesa Spring Valley School District are outraged about comments made during a board meeting Tuesday night. And I know that what we're doing is wrong. So how are we forcing people? That seems like a very white supremacist ideology to force people to comply with, you know, and conform. <laughs> Just letting you know. Privilege. Check it, you guys. Her video is off, but that's the voice of Vice President Sharda Bell Fontenot reacting to other members who said they needed to vote on a reopening school plan that night. Bell Fontenot is black. She has several questions telling the board they needed more information before making a decision, adding she wasn't ready to vote. We have to give the teachers, we have to give the students, the parents a date of what at least we don't have to we don't have to give anybody any date so i don't want to be a part of forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do that's what slavery is the board did eventually vote to open up classrooms twice a week two hours a day starting april 19th with bell fontenot being the only member to vote no a petition has since been started calling on her to resign so that we don't have to fight it or take measures to do a recall but that kind of person who has a personal agenda and not in the best interest of the kids or families should not be in office. The district superintendent released a statement on behalf of the board, writing in part, Belle Fontenot behaved in a manner the board does not condone, nor did her behavior represent our values and our commitments to our students, community, and to each other. We have received many emails and calls of great concern from our families and community members. While we were also disappointed and offended by Trustee Fontenot's behavior, we were saddened to learn that she has received hateful, racist, and threatening communications as well. The school district will continue to forward all hate mail and threatening communications to law enforcement. Meanwhile, attorney Corey Briggs is now representing Belle Fontenot. He tells News 8 in part, she objected to her colleague's plan not because it went too far, but because it did not go far enough to ensure that students return to a learning environment that is equally safe and supportive for every single one of them. She makes no apologies for her conviction that looking out for the safety, well-being, and opportunity of every student is far and away the most sacred responsibility of the trustees. You can read both statements in their entirety and see clips from the meeting at cbs8.com.